checked it out. I've never been there. This was my first time going. I've only seen, um, I've really only seen stuff on social media and it looked very interesting and cool. Um, I have an interest in modern art and like to check out different pieces. I really wanted to go to the road because I, I appreciate art and I appreciate like the creativity of it. I like how we all really express ourselves very differently and even through words, you know, we all just kind of have different ways of saying things when they mean the same thing. Um, and it was nice to have this for a school project because I mean not a lot of classes would make you go out of your comfort zone to do something and the fact that it was free, icing on the cake. I wanted to go to the Broad because mainly I've only seen a couple pictures on Instagram and social media so um, I saw they had some cool stuff there to take pictures of. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of modern art but once we got there um, it was very interesting. Some of the pieces um, really caught your attention and I was surprised at some of the exhibits I was really interested in. Once our group decided to go to the Broad, I wasn't too excited, only because I've never been. Um, once I got there, I was actually really excited. Once we like first got up the elevator and saw like the first piece, I was actually surprised. The bright colors and the amount of people that were there actually surprised me as well. Um, but there was a lot of modern art, and it, I just enjoyed it. So based on the Marilyn Monroe picture at the road, I seen that you guys were very interested. What was your first impression? Um, well, I think the first thing that caught, like would catch anyone's attention would be the colors. Um, Andy Warhol's known for bright colors and um, mass producing things. So I thought that captured my attention. Well, we were in like just the Warhol area. And I think when I saw that piece, I definitely saw like, oh, I've seen this on Tumblr or something and I was like, oh, I didn't know that was a Warhol or I mean, it does look like one. And then there were some other ones that I really didn't think that word is. So I thought it was an interesting thing. But I remember you said something about because of her image being displayed on in this art piece, he kind of wanted to say because of his reproducibility yeah. with the piece, it kind of diminishes her fame in a way. Yeah, basically. So everything's silk screened and it's easily mass produced. So it kind of ties into how you can get all this fame and fortune, but in the end, it kind of like fades away. Your memory's there, but um, it's just a faint memory. And it kind of ties into what we learned about in class about the camera and the video camera, how um, the validity of art and its meaning kind of diminishes because it's available at anywhere, anytime, to anyone. Yeah. After reading the description, how did you guys feel about the piece? Um, after reading the description, I definitely changed my tone and my, my mood on the picture uh, or on the piece. It was just very uh, deep. Uh, it talks about how the body, the flesh is on the outside, and um, it's this very heavy, uh, like the body's a very heavy thing, but it's just hanging on the wall, so limb, and so like light. It's it's very interesting to me. Um, it also is very interesting how it represents that there's uh, like some sort of violence going on in the piece, and that. Um, no matter what body it is, like there's some kind of pain and feeling inside each body. Yeah, and I think after I read it, it kind of made me think of like we all have our own experiences, and like the the pain that we see on that wall is going to be different for everybody, and the body is just kind of like a cocoon for the person that comes out of it. We also saw some people there for just 
social media. Um, many people are just taking pictures for Snapchat or Instagram to get those likes rather than being there to actually experience the art and take it all in. In conclusion, what we did find out is all art does have a purpose. Um, no matter whether you're there for either just the likes on social media or you're actually interested in the meaning and looking at the art, um, there is a purpose to it, a reason for you to go out and actually look at the art and see something new.